Today, I added capitalism to Metopia. This mod is kind of a work in progress because it functions, for Greenhorn at least. There's a lot of bugs with it, but they're mostly visual. So yeah, let's get into it. So you might notice the changes when we get into it, but uh, don't worry because I'll explain it along the way. Maybe I'll give this one back to you, but you'll have to earn it. Pay up or else. But I'm broke. The family heirloom is glowing, voice coming from it. Crafter, Crafter, can you hear me? Please, just hear me out. I have a business proposition for you. Would you like a little help? Sure. Excellent, excellent. I bestow upon thee the awesome power of the Guardian. Now select the job you would like. So now we just gotta pick our job, same as usual. Uh, I'll go with Mage. It's my favorite job after all. And hopefully I don't regret this later. You know, I've, I've done this without a job before. <laughs> Patience, thank you. I mean, that doesn't really do much because I was going to unlock HP sprinkles anyways. But sure. Piece of cake. So, if you didn't catch it right there, I did not gain any experience from that battle. This mod makes it so that enemies do not give you experience. And you might ask why that is. Uh, I'll explain that a little bit later. Oh, thank the stars. Thank you, kind traveler. Please take this gift as a mother's appreciation. There we go, more money. And if you didn't notice, uh, usually she gives you 200 gold. I also halved the amount of gold you get for most things. So, uh, there's that. Defeat the vile Stan and save this world. Well, unfortunately, you have no say in the matter. You do owe me for saving you from that monster. That line of dialogue I actually didn't change. <laughs> That's what that says normally. But it was fitting. Anyways, uh, now we have a teammate. Hooray! <laughs> Kill the moth, please. There we go. Well, technically that's not showing it off, but, uh, another little thing about the mod is that, uh, enemies, normally, they're supposed to drop, like, some food usually, like every battle, but I made it so that every enemy only has a 10% chance to drop their lowest tier food, which means, uh, you know, starvation. So what's that so far that I've shown off? Uh, no experience. Half the gold from story, half the gold from enemies, less food. <laughs> that That's about it so far. So far. So how do I level up? I will show you in a second because uh, I'm going to be frank with you, I still don't have enough money. But I did make it so that certain enemies give experience. Snurps can give you experience, certain kinds, and they give you a very small amount. Except for the rare Snurp, which is normally an enemy that gives you a ton of experience. We just have to kill this butterfly and we will be on our way, hopefully. I don't know if we'll have enough gold after this still. Oh, no, we got 100 gold, okay. I did change it so that bosses give you a bit of gold, because the enemies hardly give you any. They're one-time fights anyways. I can show you how you're supposed to level up now. So we just gotta get on our merry way and go to Greenhorn. Rascal, I need to have a word with you. Hey, ever heard of loot crates? <laughs> They're real cool. I have game tickets which are kinda like that. You can even get experience from the wheel. <laughs> Wanna buy some for 200 gold? So yeah, we can buy game tickets from Rascal here and uh... He'll take 200 gold and give us three game tickets. And if you spin the roulette wheel, sometimes it'll have experience on it. And sometimes you might actually land on that. And uh, that, that's a bit of issue with the dialogue where it immediately closes out the text box when you're done talking to him. I don't understand why. You do not just pay to have experience. 
You paid to get a loot crate, essentially. This is the heart and soul of America. Please give me some experience. No, not ten bananas. Yay, Jolly Jaunt tickets. That does actually get me some more gold, so I'll take it. 500. Sure. Come on. Yes, we got some experience. Hopefully that's enough for a level up. Because I think that the experience on the roulette wheel scales to your level. So I don't know. Oh gosh, a royal portion's not even enough to level up from level 1. You can call this a challenge mod if you want to. Given the fact that leveling up is incredibly difficult. So yeah, th there are more things to this mod. I still have a few things to show off, but uh... That's the gist of it. So I have to gamble for experience. Yes, I need to... I need to rely on surprise game mechanics to get experience. There we go, some more experience. Now we get to be level 2. Jolly John tickets, sure. I'll put us in a room together after this because... I do kind of need relationship experience. Since I can't get job experience. Oh gosh, this really is capitalism. I can't get job experience. <laughs> also, I didn't really see how hard this mod would be. Because uh, when I was testing it, I was using the instant level 50 mod. Since that just makes it easier to test. And I don't spoil myself on the, on the difficulty of the mod. 280 gold for a toy dagger. I also doubled the price of all the equipment in the game. So yeah, you earn half the money, everything's twice as expensive. Something I could have probably actually changed that would have been really funny. When your Migos shopping, they take the money and they go out and buy the thing. But uh, there is a chance that they buy like an HP banana instead. So it would have been really funny if I just made it so that they didn't give you the remaining money back after they took the gold. I think that I could have actually made that change, and it would have been hilarious. <laughs> the main reason I made it so that food is harder to get, not just because of the joke of, uh, you know, not having enough money because you live in America, uh, but also because through jobless, I have learned that <laughs> food can actually take you a long way. You can basically beat the game if you only use food items to get your stats. I was considering doing something with the amiibo girl, but I had no idea how to edit her event. The mod does make it so that it checks if you have enough money for certain things, of course. So like, if I said yes to buying the game tickets and I didn't have 200 gold, he would not give me the game tickets. Kill the cloud. Oop. My strongest unit is now dead. Cool, the clouds are dead too. Half of us are dead, I think that we still have very good chances. We might have already ran into a difficulty issue. Isn't that lovely? Because... Uh, only one of us is level 2, and all of our gear is very bad. Okay, EXP. Not the most, but uh, I'll try it. This is a pretty good wheel, too. We got Jolly Jaunt tickets, we got some clothes, some EXP, and a very tiny bit that is MP candy. I want my cleric to be able to heal. Why did that seem like that was more than a royal portion? Isn't a morsel like a small amount? I feel like a morsel is supposed to be a small amount of something. Finally, enough experience to level up our cleric. Pure. Yay. Maybe I should stop using auto battle. That could be part of the problem. So yeah, this mod has already started getting pretty hard. There we go. One boss done. And that is the easiest of the three bosses here. It, it sounds weird, but I wish that the Metopia demo was actually a little bit more limited. Imagine if I did a challenge where, like, I beat Metopia w with the demo version. 
but obviously I would have to mod it so that you could get past the original place where the demo stops you. Th there wouldn't be any point, because the demo is the exact same thing as Metopia normally is. We have four party members. We are on average level two. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we're level two on average. Oops. Well, that's not good. Oh no, you're crying. Crying just turns Avenge into a debuff. Okay, so this battle is not easy, but we can do it. We we can we can do it. Okay, good. We finally beat that boss after spending a lot of money and rolling a lot of roulette wheels. Uh, yeah, let's just go with basic horse. I don't feel like spending my time designing a horse. Lightning. It's so nice having a new spell. <laughs> huh? The horse seems to be asking us for money. Do you want us to hire you? Hire the horse for 500 gold? I, I don't- I don't want to hire the horse. The horse looks defeated. Ask the horse to join your party after all. Sure. We're naming the horse Prawn. Because I was thinking about horse, then I was thinking about pony. Then for some reason, Pony led to Prawn. We had like 8,800 gold. Now we are at 8,300 because it subtracted 500. So yeah, for certain parts of the story, you have to, uh, you have to pay money to progress. That, that just makes it more fun, doesn't it? A fun, happy mod. I love it when you get the praise status. It's so strong. It's just a very satisfying status to have. It makes you more defensive, more offensive, and if you're the player, you can still control your me while they're under the status. Which is a very nice detail, because, uh, you know, most statuses take away the agency of the player. You know, being happy doesn't, which makes it an even stronger status. Because the game knows that it is kind of balanced around the fact that you have to rely on your party members to do things, since that is, like, a key feature of the game. It knows that if you had more control over the entire cast, that you would be a lot stronger of a force. Which is why I wrote an entire essay, an entire college acceptance essay, on the game mechanics of Metopia. I really like Metopia. And I will let you know, I did get accepted into that college. Of course. You actually do more damage than my magic does, so sure. We might not win this battle. So anyways, uh, the lesson of the day for you all is... If you want to get accepted into college, write an essay about Metopia. Or, uh, I guess just something you're passionate about, that that would also work. But uh, I think Metopia is, is the better option, clearly. Oh, we won. Cool! Ooh, Snurps! Here's the thing, I made it so that certain types of snurps do give mild amounts of experience. I believe green snurps give 10 experience, which is not very much, but hey, that's more experience than I've been getting. And yes, 10 is significantly less than they normally give, I'm pretty sure. How much of the bar does it fill? Oh, it's 30 each. Interesting. It's Griffin time. Time for the most fun boss. Let's not put anyone in the safe spot before the attacks. Let's roll with the punches for a little bit. Now I do feel like putting you in the safe spot. They, they both have bananas, so I feel safe just spamming fire. Wow, it's almost dead, actually. It's like over halfway. And yeah, we just have to hit it really hard. Good, resurrection worked. That's one more damage sponge. No wait, kill kill the cleric. No, not not like this. Okay, charity. You doing the resurrection? Awesome. Oh wow, that plus one really helped. And now they're both at full health, cool. Love that. Finally! The bird is dead. The victory was hard fought, but my expert swordsmanship pulled us through. You would best pay me for protecting you fools. 
300 gold should do. Oh, princess, your beloved Prince Jace will soon be by your radiant side. And, uh, that actually did take 300 gold from our inventory. Oh boy. Oh, uh, that one shot our tank. Okay. So yeah, I think we need more equipment. More stats. So, uh, I'm actually really hungry. I might just, you know, beat the rest of Greenhorn on recording, you know, after I stop streaming. And that is exactly what I did. So yeah, I just did what I did throughout most of this mod, and bought game tickets, fought enemies until the roulette wheel gave me what I wanted, rinsed, washed, and repeated. This mod may sound a bit... boring, but hey, I thought it was a funny idea at the time. And it was. It could definitely be workshopped, though. Anyways, I did all of that, and fought the general again, a few times actually, until I eventually did beat it. By the way, I cut out a lot of the battles in between bosses, but that's because they were either really long or really easy. There weren't really any in-betweens. Yeah, though, I went on to the arid frontier to make my way to next door, and struggled a bit, but the enemies weren't too bad. I had decent stats, a few skills, and good equipment for where we were, so I was able to push on through. You know what happens after, with my party being stolen and my job getting reset. I added another little part where your money gets taken by the Guardian Spirit, which was a little funny. I also had another thing that I couldn't show off here, but uh, if you don't have enough money for the Guardian Spirit, they're supposed to deal damage to you and just insult you. So yeah, that's fun. All in all, this mod wasn't too bad, but it was perhaps time-consuming. I'm also not a bad Metopia player, so maybe don't try this if you're new. I might continue to work on this mod more, and make it more presentable, but who knows. But yeah, as always, you can find the mod in the Metopia Discord, link in the description. With that all said, thank you to everybody for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye